Hello there, welcome. In this section, we will try to understand the basics of enterprise architecture and then I will tell what enterprise architecture exactly is. Now before we go into further details, I will ask you a question. Are we the first to think about enterprise architecture? Are we the first to think about frameworks, models, architecture or enterprise architecture? Do you think so? Give a pause, think and answer. As a species we have been following frameworks and models for years, isn't it? The Egyptians needed a language to convey their idea while constructing pyramids. My mother uses a particular pattern to create dresses, to create sweaters or any kind of dress materials what she used to do. Biologists have been modeling for many years as do the chemists. These biologists use the concept of classification. The building architects before building the skyscrapers, what does they do? They convey their ideas in the form of a certain language. What did Einstein and Newton did? They also created the mathematical models to communicate. So in a nutshell, I can say you the architecture patterns were always there. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below. Saying that, now let's understand the importance of architecture, models and frameworks. So what does a framework need? A framework need a language, a model to communicate, isn't it? So for a language to be effective, you need grammar. What does that grammar does? It defines the component of the language that can be assembled for different specification. So now you understand where this framework comes into picture and then we talk about architecture framework, isn't it? So these models and language are the essential part when you are defining a particular framework. Here comes the architecture framework. We will see later in the chapter that Togap stresses on the importance of a common language. You know what happens? if you don't have a common language? In contrary, let me quote you one thing. You are going for a war without a plan. Do you think you will win the war? I have just taken a quote. Watch it. So only fools go to the war without a plan. The art of war by Sun Tzu. One more quote from Henry Ford. What Henry Ford said I draw a plan and work out on every detail of the plan before I start to build. Now you know why we are talking about frameworks, models, architecture and a particular way why the architecture should be driven or why this architecture needs a common language to talk to each other. Putting that thoughts, let's go to the next slide. Evolution of architecture. What do you think? How architecture has been grown over the years? Architecture used to look very small in the earlier days. Then started a complex architecture. But how much complex is it? In early days, the architecture used to look like this. In early days, the architecture used to look much simpler. Now with the digital world where you have IoT devices, you have blockchain, you have many many legacy systems, many integration systems, your messaging systems, your infrastructure growing with Docker, Kubernetes or many other things, the architecture is looking very complex, isn't it? How will you handle this complex architecture? Let's go to the next slide. All right. Now, how are we going to survive in this jungle? Looking at the problems in hand, 
we have many many problems isn't it we don't have the operational data in one shot or one glance available to you the business key performance indicators are not aligned with the business goals technology investment are happening in an ad hoc manner and not cost effective any decision for the technology is taking a very long time you, you want to put key natives in your cluster the decision has been delayed for ever data is scattered across different platforms the data is scattered across different departments different platforms and the data is redundant do you think these are the problems yes these are the problems in 21st century the poorly designed organization will go for a toss so looking at the incompatibilities and the problems in hand what do you think what do you think is the solution we need to follow our enterprise architecture why enterprise architecture for the alignment transformation scalability robustness and many others what is an enterprise let's see the formal definition of an enterprise an enterprise is a collection of organization that has a common set of goals an enterprise could be a government agency a part of corporation or a corporation other examples are a government agency or a single government department a chain of geographically distant organization linked together by a common ownership group of countries or government working together to create common or shareable deliverables or infrastructures partnership and alliances of business working together such as consortium or supply chain each organization is an enterprise in itself for example the organization you are working for or the client organization for whom you are working can be an enterprise confusion often arises from the evolving nature of the term enterprise an extended enterprise includes the partners suppliers and customers as well as the internal business units in the next screen we will define the term architecture what is an architecture architecture by definition is the fundamental organization of a system embodied in its components their relationship to each other and the environment the principle governing its design and evolution when we talk about the system architecture for example the billing system architecture of an insurance domain we define the component of the system their relationship with each other and the governing principles a formal description of a system or a detailed plan of the system at a component level to guide its implementation or the structure of components their interrelationship and the principles and guidelines governing their design and evolution over time now saying that in the next screen we will see what enterprise architecture is let's see what is the definition of enterprise architecture an enterprise architecture is a conceptual blueprint that defines the structure and operation of an organization the intent of the enterprise architecture is to determine how an organization can most effectively achieve its current and perceived future objectives let us consider enterprise as a system and describe their components some of the examples of component in an enterprise are their departments executives business functions 
business processes, IT systems and the operating models. Hence, when we discuss enterprise architecture, we talk about these components of the enterprise, the relationship with each other and the governing principles. An enterprise has a shared vision and a common set of goals. An evolving and transforming business entity having a common ownership. A collection of departments or organizations which may be geographically dispersed. It exists to serve its stakeholders while maintaining its bottom lines. It delivers stakeholder services using business processes and multiple IT systems. It follows policies, guidelines, business rules and legislative requirements of the operating geographies. Alright, so using the enterprise architecture, what do we do? We do the architecture transformations. There are four architecture types or domains that are commonly accepted as subset of enterprise architecture. Business architecture, application architecture, data architecture, and technology architecture. We will be talking throughout the course about this four domains or the types of architecture. So during an architecture transformation, we move from the baseline architecture to the target architecture. The enterprise architecture helps us to identify which routes to follow, how to organize oneself, how to communicate, what are the main risks and how they can be reduced. We define the baseline architecture, then we describe the target architecture. We measure the gaps, we evaluate the impact and we draft the roadmap. We move from the as-is business architecture to the 2B IT architecture, saying that let me take the opportunity to introduce you to the open group architecture framework to GAF. The open group architecture framework to GAF is a framework for the enterprise architecture that provides an approach for designing, planning, implementing and governing an enterprise information technology architecture. To GAF is a high level approach to design. It is typically modeled at four levels business, application, data, and technology. It relies heavily on modernization, standardization, and already existing proven technology and products. It is an architectural framework and not an architecture, an industry standard, generic framework, and method for the enterprise architecture. It provides a valuable tool for designing a broad range of architectures. Includes a rigorous architecture development methodology to guide the creation of a foundation architecture for an organization. It includes a set of principles, service standards, design concepts, components and configurations. TOGAF promotes reuse. TOGAF was developed starting 1995 by the Open Group, based on United States Department of Defense TOFIM and Capgemini's Integrated Architecture Framework IAF. The Open Group claims that the TOGAF is employed by 80% of the global 50 companies and 60% of Fortune 500 companies. Let's now move to the next topic and see how to prepare and pass the TOGAF exam.